Hey guys, here we are getting ready to go again. Uh, got it out of storage last night. Um, I was gonna do a video earlier. Forgot to, got super busy loading stuff. Uh, did manage to get it washed and the cab waxed. Um, wanted to get more fiberglass wax next time, but getting ready to head out now. I'll do another video either at the campsite or in the morning. Talk hey to you guys. Soon. Day three at uh, the old campsite. Um, just out here doing a few, I call them chores before I can do something fun, <laughs> like taking a walk with the dogs. Uh, anyhow, um, just doing some work with uh, the uh, water hose, um, which I found out I'm gonna, I think I'm going to need a new one. I've kind of gone round and round with that, and maybe I'll do a separate video for that <clears throat> entirely. Um, we did find a new storage location that's covered. That's probably about five miles from our house versus uh, whatever that was before, 200 miles, roughly. Love doing that, don't I? Uh, day three, and having a great time. Just uh, heading into Friday tomorrow. I know the campsite will probably load up. There's a few people in here already, as you can see around. Um, but yeah, it's going great. Um, just identifying some of the things that's happened since uh, we had it in storage. Uh, the heavy amount of dust. Um, I know for sure the roof is pretty dirty. I haven't been up there yet, but I did see one of the seals on the uh, side slide. Uh, the opposite, uh, in the master, basically. Uh, it looked pretty dirty, so I'm going to need to get up there and at least wipe that off. I need to really do that roof, but the good thing is that the new... Uh, storage location is is covered which i think it's worth the extra money to pay for covered um i think it not only saves things like the roof the obvious things it seems like it gets less dirty uh under a cupboard um so uh, you know and other items you can't really realize it, it just seems like that's a kind of the way to go. We'll see. Uh, the other part is it's been covered for a couple of years already And that's part of the reason I say that but in it's been in dirt and now it'll be on cement um, They do have a wash uh, Place to wash RVs there. I'm looking forward to that as well as a dump um, Which our old campground did have uh, our old storage. I'm sorry when we had it closer here That was very convenient especially if you're coming in from somewhere, um, you know, kind of a long haul where you've used the restroom on the way in. It's nice to be able to dump that before you head back out again. Um, so that'll be great. Looking forward to that. Other than that, just enjoying being out here. Um, the weather today has been in the low 60s. Uh, so very enjoyable out west here. This campground's probably not even half full right now during the week. Um, we do expect it to fill up. Um, towards the weekend, we've been out here where we've seen it go from, you know, very few to full. Uh, as far as the RV areas, the temp areas don't really fill up too much. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people just like to come out for the weekends, be able to place this, especially this time of year, to do that. It's very nice to be able to just... Uh, come out here in the cooler weather and if you do have a dog or you know we have three my daughter was just visiting with the fourth dog so we were pretty full there for a minute but um we love being able to do that and take them for walks which is great for us too in the cooler weather and the fresh air uh it's nice to be able to get out and do that so Anyhow, uh, I will try and do another video tomorrow uh, just to keep you guys informed of what we found, you know, uh, give you updates on our camping here. Uh, we did get a lot of rain yesterday. Um, this is the thing I was going to say, and the uh, awning did great as far as um, dispersing the water. Every now and then we could hear the arm claps, uh, which you can see right here. That's the actual arm that 
collapses when, like, get it to show up right there. <laughs> Darn fingers. Um, that collapses. Right now, it's not all the way out, but when this gets heavy with water, that'll collapse and let the water come off it, which is great, great design. It kind of freaked the dogs out when I did it. We don't get a ton of rain out here. Uh, we did get probably six hours worth, which is nice, fairly medium rain. Um, but yeah, if you don't know that about awnings, um, if you do leave them out in the rain, which we really did, we wanted to get it rinsed off at least that way. Um, we did a great job with that. So anyhow, sun's getting ready to head down. I'm going to get uh, finish my adult beverage and finish my chores here. I'm going to go inside and I think we're going to have some dinner. Hey so, guys, back here out at the campground in the afternoon. Uh, it's a nice day. It's probably in the mid to the lower 50s. Um, had some rain this morning and just enjoying our time out here. Um, just took the dogs for a pretty long walk, uh, which was nice. Uh, yeah, some other things of note when you have your store, your RV in storage for a long amount of time, there's several things that can happen. And we're finding that out now. And I've started a list. One of them is actually we forgot to close one of the windows all the way. It was slightly cracked. And it blew in, I mean, almost, you know, 10 months worth of dust out in the desert um we're still cleaning it out my wife's doing her second vacuum within a day or two and it's fine a fine dust that kind of got into everything um it part of it was it it was kind of strange and this made us think we're going to need a plunger um which we don't have we have one at home but not here so I was able to use uh, my the bottom of my sandal to basically get the uh, shower to drain. It had fine dust and hair in it, uh, items like that. But yeah, it's just little things like that that add up after a while or, you know, accumulate after a while. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's a very nice campground. It's not very full. Camper over there. Camper over here to my right, which is nice. Uh, having it this empty. We've got full hookups. Last time, I think we were right over there. Excuse the finger, but right there. And that site does not have full hookups. Um, it's everything but sewer. Yeah, it is, I tell you, it is nice having sewer. Uh, it got a little old having to walk every day or take the tank every day. Didn't mind it. It was good exercise, but it did get old. Anyhow, yeah, it's a nice day. It's a little cool and breezy. Fine for me. Uh, well, I guess both of us nowadays run kind of hot anyway. So I will try and do another one of these tomorrow. This is day two of six out here, which is really nice. Um, and we are now going to store it closer just due to these items we're finding. And, you know, it's probably really not good to store it too far away from you as we're finding out just you can't check on it as much you can't you know load things in it get ready for trips as you know you probably don't use it, use it as much as what i'm trying to say so those are the couple of things that uh we're noticing so anyhow sign off for now and i'll try and do a couple more of these and have enough for something uh hopefully informative for everybody to uh you know Learn by. I'm constantly learning from you guys as well, but uh, uh, talk to you soon. Hey guys, finally got back from camping. Um, yeah, it was a great trip other than um, going back. Uh, had a little accident with the roof. Um, hit a low-lying branch, so it got a pretty good tear in it. Um, yeah, so that needs to be repaired, unfortunately. But other than that, the camping trip is great. You'll see it in some of these videos uh, that I've been, I'll include in this uh, one big video. Uh, it was a great time. I got my new I Love Meatloaf. The food, the band's not bad either. Just saying. 
uh, shirt on I got it Christmas uh, show it off a little here but anyways yeah um, that's pretty much it uh, it was a great trip we actually extended it to two weeks and we're thinking about doing another one before it gets too hot um, again welcome to the channel those have been here for a while thank you new subscribers only drop you know these videos when I have something to say and I usually have something to say around this time of year because that's when we do the bulk of our camping um, that in the fall uh, the summer we take it easy um, take care of medical whatnot although my wife did throw her back out recently in the last few days so that's been a bummer um, dealing with that she I think she's gonna be fine um, just overdid it putting Christmas stuff away um, anyhow so I'm out here with the dogs again back out backyard they're playing as you see Thor and Daisy Brutus back there and Oliver over there using the restroom okay he's down now I can show him way over there uh, right there anyhow yeah it's going good um, other than that roof which is a bummer I do have a temporary patch on it uh, RC put it on there it's temporary very temporary but should hold the rain out um, yeah it's pretty good sized here in the roof those things unbelievably thin I had no idea I thought there was at least some thickness to them shows what I know uh, these RVs are a constant learning experience uh, if you're brand brand new to them stick around there's a lot to learn it's fun just know that I've said this before in other videos that there's always there's always something to learn uh, which to me it, it makes it intriguing and, and fun at times it can be stressful to be honest um, when you have you know some major stuff going on anyhow just know that you will have stuff going on that's the main thing anybody that gets into RVing thinking that it's just going to be really nothing to repair ever or um, you know some stressful moments with it you know say you're backing up they probably aren't telling you the exact truth um, just know that those moments are there but getting out and camping far outweigh any negative you may have with it um, it took us both less last time about yeah, five days to really decompress now this was after 10 months uh, 10 11 months of not camping um, it was parked and finally getting back out there so we we got in the groove so much we just stayed there and took another five day or it ended up being yeah I think almost 14 days total uh, camping uh, did come back for a couple days and Brooke brought the dogs back towards the end uh, just a couple reasons we had my brother visiting and his wife and it made it easier with them um, you know it was a little chilly out for being out west here anyways and it made it a little bit easier for them just getting in and then us packing up and leaving anybody that knows that part of things when you have we have four dogs no actually we had three out there with us but you know you have to kind of shuttle them back and forth to the vehicle while you're trying to put things away and trying to um you know basically get ready to to go uh so it's just one less uh, responsibility you have to worry about when you when you pull out a lot of times you don't have that if you're back fairly close to home to be able to kind of shuttle back and forth and that's how it normally is for us um but yeah we're going to try i think towards the end of february beginning of march do another two weeks and you know and hopefully the roof will be repaired by then it'll be good to go um and we have it in new storage which is good um i'll try and include the picture here um and weren't able to get covered right away and they're going to wait until one comes available. It's fine. It's not hot right now. I'm not too concerned. I'm sure they'll get something. Um, beyond that, uh, it's going good. Um, the rammer has been doing great. Um, knock on wood. <laughs>
towing brake still doing its thing um i started to look take a close look at the tires i'll try and put a picture here of uh, at least of of this you know a few of the tires when i first had them put on but they're wearing pretty good um i do need to probably rotate them but i was that's the part i was looking at because and put a comment below um the rear tires seem to be have still more tread um it's just you know the front ones wear a little funny the toe toe in situations which isn't horrible it's not horrible on the ram but all vehicles all trucks do it um but i've heard you leave the tires with the most you know tread on them in the back um so i'm really concerned what to do that might just flip flop them I think I can get another 10,000 out of these tires, which would be great. Um, put them on about, I think 15,000. We're at about 46,000 now. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with the tires themselves. Um, you know, again, leave a comment. Everybody's got their own tires they like to run. Um, these are the Falcon Wild Peaks, by the way, yeah. Other than that, yeah, it just needs a good cleaning. Um, I did see a lot of people in storage are now using the uh, little solar setup to keep their battery trickled down. Interesting. Um, might try something like that again. I did pull the battery. I pulled battery and propane uh, when we got here before I took it to storage just to keep those the battery on a trickle and to keep the propane ready to go. Um, or keep it a little more secure, I should say. Um, it is, they're full and ready to go. But, you know, pull them out just for whatever reason. I don't know. It makes it a little easier to fill them up. We'll see. I'll probably end up leaving them in there next time. It's, they're pretty heavy and it's a bit of a hassle. Um, other than that, um, we, we did have, oh, when we were pulling out of the other storage, the old one, I don't know if I mentioned already would be on this video uh, a little damage on the side um, of the fifth wheel kind of towards the back not horrible but uh, probably need to be buffed out I tried just with my wax I have here I don't have a high speed buffer but I couldn't really it seemed a little better but I probably need to take a high speed buffer to it um, that was a little bit of a bummer so Ah, between the roof and that, it's taken a little bit of uh, uh, heat this time, or a little, <laughs> little damage, I guess you could say. Um, beyond that, yeah, it was it did great. Um, we had some chilly mornings, um, but we used the little electric heaters. We don't run much propane heat. Um, they do great. Um, matter of fact, I was telling my wife, you need to probably look for a little bigger one for the living room. Uh, with a little more controls on it we took the one that we had in the living room on the rv to the bedroom because it, the thermostat was better it actually got to a certain temperature shut off and you know would maintain that through the night versus the, some of the little ones aren't that great uh in the thermostat department but yeah um i think a lot of people do that if you're on park power you know they run you'll run the electricity through the little electric heaters um why not save your propane uh, i really haven't been using much propane i was even cooking with it out there uh and i'll again include some of the video here um or some of the pictures on the blackstone which i did uh, probably about a 10 minute video on just me cooking breakfast and I think I want to get some wind guards for it. It got a little breezy a couple times and it did not maintain heat. Um, I think I mentioned that same video. There's an issue with some of the Blackstones and the regulator um, basically have to, if it comes low gas or low heat situations on there, you'll have to pull the gas, turn everything off, turn all the gas off, take the gas line off the propane turn the gas line on the blackstone let it do that do that for maybe a couple minutes turn the gas back off reconnect to the propane and slowly turn it on and they should be good 
long story short, there's videos all over the place on YouTube, especially about how to do that. Um, be careful again, not a propane expert, do it at your own risk, but mainly it will help with the low gas situation that happens on the Blackstone. And then the other thing you can do is um, get these wind guards. Uh, I'll put a link, but yeah, I think Walmart everywhere has them. Um, Amazon, I'm sure that you can block the little, there's a little crack that goes around the Blackstone and that will help from the wind getting in there and get a low heat situation just from that alone. Um, the Blackstone itself has a pretty thick uh, metal uh, grate uh, cooking area that it needs to heat up. So that's part of the issue. You got to get a fair amount of heat just to get that going. And uh, you lose any, any bit of that, it's really slow cook, almost worthless. Um, it's a known issue. It's really a shame. But they got to have the regulator. Wind you can't control, but they've tried to address it in some ways. Um, Anyhow, the dogs are playing again. Um, we're supposed to get rain here tomorrow. We need it. And it's still pretty nice here. I think it got almost to 70 today, which is nice. Uh, kind of in the California desert between the mountains and the, uh, the, well, the ocean's pretty far from here, but about 1400 square uh, elevation. Uh, so yeah, we do get some weather here, not a ton. Not like some places right now, they're just getting pounded. Um, 30 below and whatnot. But anyhow, appreciate every one of you guys. Um, we'll keep these going when we I do another trip. And it'll probably be in about a month. I'll try and do the same uh, kind of sequence of one before and then during and then after. And I'll try and get this posted this weekend. Talk to you all soon. Take care.